Hey guys and gals, I just wanted to do a little shorty and tell you about a really cool story that just happened to me. So some people wonder if magic really works and even some witches out there have half and half philosophy on magic, which blows me away personally, but you know, it's a fact. So we're gonna talk about protection magic and especially one of my favorite protection spells, which is the Witch's Bottle. So for those of you who don't know, the Witch's Bottle is an old method of protecting yourself and sometimes your household and property. And this method has been utilized for centuries at, at the least. It involves placing your DNA, urine, spit, hair, or, you know, what have you, into a jar with a bunch of sharp, pointy glass and metal screws, tacks, or nails, for instance. Once this is done, it's empowered to be a decoy um, against negative magic sent at you, and it will take the negativity, grind it up, and disperse it into the ground, doing away with it so that it never finds you and you stay safe. So one thing I forgot to mention is that you bury it in the ground after you empower it. Um, some believe in burying it far away from you, but throughout history, people have found these bottles buried within the hearth of old homes and in the garden areas or even barns, which means some people, um, our past um, ancestors, um, have buried them close by instead. I'm assuming this is because they figured if bad magic is coming your way, it's better for the bottle to be nearby so that once the magic is in the immediate area, it goes to the bottle thinking it's you instead of you, the actual person. Again, um, a decoy. Okay, so now we have a refresher on what the witch's bottle is. Well, recently, over the last couple of months, I've been in a really nasty, nasty situation with a witchcraft community. Not to get into too much detail, but regardless, it's just a disagreement about certain situations and these other people are not happy with me and my people, to say the least. <laughs> it has been a battle, but the good news is it's on the calm down, um, so good. Well, back in the heat of all this, I thought, hmm, I better do some protect, um, proactive protection magic for myself because to be honest, I don't put it past these witches to be so disgruntled that they actually throw some nasty magic my way. If nothing else, to get me to shut up and stop schooling them on the natural way of things, how life works. Anyhow, so this being said, I jumped into action one day and did a few things for protection, including a witch's bottle, which I buried right outside my apartment complex in the woods. Did it and forgot about it as I always do in magic. Here we are, figure, I don't know, six weeks later, and yesterday I'm sitting at home for the day and I just started feeling very antsy to get out of the house. I had a situation at my office at work that I could have handled from home, but being that work is only 15 minutes away and I wanted to stop for my afternoon coffee anyhow, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go into the office and take care of this. I just wanna get out of the house and I feel like something's telling me to go, go to the office, just get out of the house. Like I just, it's like something was pulling at me to just do something, you know, just go. So off I went. When I got to the office, there was nothing out of the ordinary, and other than getting my evening coffee, I hung out for half an hour and talked to my coworkers for a little bit, and then I left and went back home thinking, well, that was a that was a waste of time and gas, but you know, again, something was tugging at me to go, so I just went, you know. Got there, did my thing, felt better for going, came back. So as I get home, I pull up to where I usually park, which is right here because it's a corner spot that is larger than any of the other spots in the parking lot, and it's right next to the side door of the building where my apartment is. Um, so I like to park there because it's got some extra space, because um, it is on the corner and there's nobody to the right of me. It's literally the last space. And there's some extra room because there's just some grass and a fence there otherwise. But anyway, I go to pull in there, but guess what? I can't because there's a huge oak tree that is downed and laying in the exact spot I usually park. Um, how did it come down? Well, lightning strike. You can see here the burn marks left behind from the lightning. This is where I usually park, and as you can see, this would have totally killed my truck. I'm sure the hood would have been gone, the whole front of the truck, the windshield, possibly the roof as well. I it would have just leveled it. So let's take a little walk out into the woods here.
and this is where I buried my witch's bottle, at the base of this tree, because there was some dirt here that seemed easy to dig a nice hole in. You could still see the disturbed earth when I buried it. Now, 10 feet away is the tree that was hit by lightning. I don't know about you, but to me, this was some protection magic well done, and great job, Mr. Witch's Bottle. My theory is, some nasty witches sent some angry and malevolent energy this way, and the protection magic and spirits that I struck a bargain with to protect me kicked into action. For instance, why was I feeling so antsy to get out of the house and go to the office when I really didn't need to, but just had the gumped to get up and go? Because these spirits and energies were like, Manon, get your shit together and get out because the shit's on its way and there's some whoop ass behind it. The energy slash magic, whatever you want to call it, finally arrives at full force and ready to stomp a mud hole in my ass and walk it dry. But instead, it goes to the witch's bottle where it's misdirected and takes out the tree instead. Now, most likely that surge of energy went right into the ground as well and, well, right into the witch's bottle where I wouldn't doubt it if the metal in the jar isn't slightly welded together but I'm not digging it up to find out. So I was safely out of the way, long gone thanks to the spirit help and the protection magic. So to me, it's just too much uh, for it to be coincidence. I mean, I bury a witch's bottle right there in that spot. Lightning, of all things, hits a tree 10 feet away and that tree falls right where I would normally park my truck in my parking spot. Um, something was told me to go. So I'm gonna say about an hour's time from leaving my apartment and coming back, this happens. Um, that's just too much going on at one time for it to be a coincidence. For something to tell me to leave, I leave, lightning strikes a tree within 10 feet of where I bury a witch's bottle. The tree falls where I would normally park. Um, yeah, that's just too much. I, I just, there's no way that's coincidence, not in my book. Anyhow, I thank you again, my friendly spirits and the God and Goddess and who I know are on my side and not theirs, and my elders for teaching me how to do what I do best, witchcraft.